known for his waggish quips when reporting on the love lives of the royal family, news anchor Simon McCoy has a happy personal bulletin of his own, he has become engaged to 1980s pin-up Emma Sams. Yes, it's true, the GB News star confirms, telling me, we are both so happy, as are our children. The couple, who live at the actress's home in the Cotswolds, have not yet set a date but plan a joyful, post-pandemic wedding next year. We shall celebrate in the spring, when it's safe to share a party, McCoy, who quit the BBC earlier this year to join startup channel GB News, tells me. He will be the fourth husband of Sam's, 61, who was one of the biggest TV stars of the 1980s, playing fiery heiress Fallon Carrington Colby and Dynasty after making her name in General Hospital. The London-born actress twice declined offers to appear in Playboy. She divorced her third husband, the psychiatrist John Holloway, in 2003. Her previous husbands, Van Sinogji and Tim Dillon, were both lawyers. She was previously engaged to the late American composer Marvin Hamlish. I disclosed in 2019 that McCoy, 59, had separated from his second wife, TV presenter Victoria Graham, 46. Former royal reporter McCoy has a grown-up son from his first marriage, while Emma has two children with Holloway. After becoming estranged from McCoy, his wife embarked on a relationship with her BBC colleague John Gripton, who was her editor at the Spotlight News programme for South West England. Victoria told me, it's been an incredibly sad time. After years of living apart, failed fertility treatment and the death of my father, life changes. She added, every time I see Simon on the TV I feel tremendously proud his career goes from strength to strength. We remain very good friends and still have two beautiful border terriers to love between us. The force is still with Star Wars actor John Boyega. The Londoner, 29, has amassed a whopping 10 pounds. 55 million with his acting company. Newly filed accounts for Upper Room Entertainment Limited disclose that its net worth is up 1 pound. 3 million in the past year. Boyega once criticized Disney over his Star Wars character, Finn, accusing it of sidelining him as a token black person prop. Emerald dresses up in sister act she may be the toast of Hollywood, but family comes first for Oscar winner Emerald Fennell. Her younger sister Coco shared this photograph of the Killing Eve and promising young woman scriptwriter, 35 wearing a dress designed from her eponymous label Coco Fennell. Emerald didn't need any encouragement to wear one of Coco's dresses, says a friend. She loves them. Coco's outfits have also been worn by the likes of Rita Ora and Kylie Minogue. Long-suffering Janet Fuchs has had the job of keeping unruly politicians in check for almost 30 years, first as Deputy Speaker of the House of Commons, and now in the same role in the Lords. But Terry's one thing she misses about the lower house. As Deputy Speaker in the Lords, I don't get to shout, order. She tells me at a Royal Horticultural Society event in Westminster. I miss it. We don't shout, in the Lords, we don't need to. We are refined but firm. Brexit Gina feels shattered glamorous financier Gina Miller received death threats after successfully campaigning for a House of Commons vote on Brexit, but it's her leisure activities that have left her seriously injured. I hear she suffered a potentially life-threatening fall while rock climbing on holiday in the Verdun Gorge in the south of France. 
I've had a very nasty accident and been in agony after I fell from a great height and shattered my left wrist in three places, she tells me at the lavish launch party for Tim Walker's book Star Turns at the Ica in the Mall. I've had an operation and now have a metal plate and nine screws inside my wrist. Luckily, I'm right-handed. The medics thought had broken my shoulder as well. It's been a tough time. Miller, 56, adds, I'm an adrenaline freak. I used to be a mad racing driver and turned a few cars over. Daisy's Cossy goes down in history at the age of 32, model Daisy Lowe is already a museum exhibit. The former Strictly Come Dancing star has shared this photo of herself in a Gucci swimsuit, designed by Tom Ford, explaining, This rare beauty has been sold to a museum, so I wanted to writhe around in it before I removed it from my curves. Her property developer boyfriend, Jordan Saul, had the pleasure of taking the pictures. She adds, I believe it is the only one of its kind and I never want to peel it from my body. Lowe declines to say which museum has acquired the swimsuit, but at least it won't take up much room. Celebrated interior designer and style arbiter Nikki Haslam has always gone against the grain when it comes to art, declaring his passion for plastic, fakes and chintz, and even admitting to shopping at Primark. But now has after stuff nobody wants. I have a shed which I have filled with bits of junk I am going to decorate and maybe sell, Nicky tells me from his new rural retreat on JCB billionaire Lord Bamford's Gloucestershire estate. I love a tip. And a good skip. Make junk your friend. Clarkson sees red is Jeremy Clarkson fomenting class war in the Cotswolds? The Petrolhead TV presenter turned farmer has accused red trousers wearers of trying to get his hugely popular farm shop shut down. Villagers in Chadlington, Oxfordshire, are infuriated by thousands of his fans heading to Diddley Squat Farm Shop to buy vegetables, milk and honey. Has also trying to turn one of his sheds into a restaurant. You're always going to get people who wear red trousers complaining wherever you go, Clarkson tells me at a National Farmers Union event in Westminster, referring to the countryside tough uniform of choice. He has, however, found a novel way to deter his neighbors from complaining to the council. There was a great deal of animosity. But by the end I said we want to get the restaurant going and you can have a 10% discount. He says they've complained less since. 